Good morning, KG1. Today we're going to have a science lesson. We are going to revise all the lessons that we ta have taken before. Let's start with the five senses. Do you remember the five senses, KG1? Do you remember the song of the five senses? Let's sing it together. With the eyes we see, with the ears we hear, with the fingers we can touch. With the nose we smell, with the tongue we taste, and thank you very much. With the eyes we see, with the ears we hear, with the fingers we can touch. With the nose we smell, with the mouth we taste, and thank you very much. Okay then. So, we see with our eyes. We see with our what, KG1? We see with our eyes. And we hear with our ears. We hear with our ears. And we taste with our mouth. We taste with our mouth. We touch with our fingers. We touch with our fingers. And we smell with our nose. So again, we see with our eyes. We hear with our ears. We taste with our mouth or tongue. We touch with our fingers and we smell with our nose. Okay, KG1. <clears throat> now we're going to review the parts of our body. Let's see them together. The body parts consist of the following. We have here hair. Can you see the hair of the girl? Yeah, hair. And this is her forehead. Forehead. Eyes. Ears. Nose. Mouth. And the mouth have some teeth. And here comes the neck. Shoulder. Elbow. Arm. Finger. And this is the chest. And here it comes the stomach. And this is a hand. And let's go down to the legs. We have here the leg, the knee, the ankle, and the feet. Okay? Let's say it one more time, KG1. Hair, forehead, two eyes, two ears, a nose, a mouth, some teeth inside the mouth, neck, shoulder, elbow, arm, this is an arm, fingers, hand, and this is chest, this is the chest, this is the stomach, and let's go down to the legs, here is the leg, the whole leg, this is a knee, this is an ankle, and these are the feet. Okay. <clears throat> can tell me now we're going to revise the living and non-living things kg1 do you remember what are the living things who can tell me what are the living things living things are things that can eat drink feel and respire okay who can tell me like what like the tree yeah like the fish very good like the lion wow and turtle and the cat okay so the living things are the things that can respire can eat can drink and can feel like the man like the tree like the lion like the turtle like the fish and like the cat okay now let's move to the non-living things the non-living things are things that cannot feel cannot eat cannot drink cannot respire like what like the table the table is a non-living thing like the cap a cap is also a non-living thing like the pencil the pencil is a non-living thing and also like the cup okay let's move to the other to, uh, to another part okay now we're going to revise the fruits vegetables and seeds let's start with the fruits who can remember the song of the fruits, apples and bananas? Let's sing it together. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. 
I like to oat, 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 apples on bananas. I like to oot, 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 apples on bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. Okay, now we're going to review, to review some pictures of the fruits. An apple. Apple is a fruit, right? What else? Wow, watermelon. The watermelon is the fruit. Banana. Banana is a fruit. Grapes. Strawberry. And orange. So, we have apple, watermelon, banana, grapes, strawberry, and orange. All these are fruits. Okay, let's move to the vegetables and let's see. Vegetables are like what? Tomato, cucumber, carrot, onion, green pepper, and cabbage. So the vegetables are tomato, cucumber, carrot, onion, green pepper and cabbage okay let's move to the seeds seeds are like what okay rice beans corn and lentils all these are considered seeds okay now we're going to revise the lesson that we took last week who can tell me what was it about? Yeah, very good. It was about plants. And as we said, the plant parts consist of four main parts. Okay, roots, stem, leaves, and flower. Okay, so the plant consists of four main parts they are roots, stem, leaves, and flower. Okay, and also we learned how do plants grow. We said that it starts with a small seed, and then a small root, and then the root begins to, begins to expand longer and longer to form the stem, and after that comes the leaf, and then the flower appear. Okay. And as we said, how can you make your own plant kg1? Dig a little hole, put a little seed, give it a little some water, expose it to a little sunshine, and then the leaf will the flower will appear. Okay, now KG1, we are going to learn a new lesson. What do, plant needs, what do plants need to grow? The plant needs sun, air, and water to grow. Again, the plant needs sun, air, and water. Okay, so... We have to put our plant in the sun and the air and waters it every now and then to grow. Now, KG1, we're going to open our size booklets on page 38 and we're going to make an exercise together. Which part of the plant will grow? Put a tick. Okay, KG1, let's look on the first picture. Let's see the first picture. Here is the first picture. Okay. The plant is in the cupboard. The plant is in the cupboard. So, it's not exposed to the sunlight. So, it will not grow KG1. So, let's move to the other picture. Yeah, we have here sun and rain. So, the the plant is exposed to the sunlight, air, and the rain is watering the plant. So this one is correct. Let's put a tick beside it. Let's move to the third picture. We have here sun, 
air and someone is watering the plant too so this one is correct too very good put a tick beside it and the other one you see here there is some rain but it's not it cannot reach the plant so the plant will not grow and this picture is not correct okay thank you kg1 we've finished all the session for today thank you very much and hope to see you soon inshallah bye bye